the largest promoter by fringe now of that other place, so our tenth year this year. Um, but that applies to that applies to us when we were tiny and we were working with the theatres and sort stuff. It applies to us now we we look a bit like a big conglomerate. We're not we're still skinny, it doesn't work, but it's the you know, it's that principle carries through. Um, on that I think as well that's um, you know the work I'm doing now with other plays is uh, quite large scale. We can host quite big events coming in and through. Um, I value on the fringe something that's absolutely tiny on the other side of town and have an audience of two. Um, and I love seeing work where there's a small audience or someone who's you know aiming for five and gets five in. I think that's just as important as selling something that's 300 and sort of sells up to So having that diversity within your programme is critical. <coughs> Um, the works I do with them here is the Brighton Brightest Open Access. So the Fringe is an organisation that goes, you can apply to be part of our festival, you can uh, do whatever you want, we don't care, we're not judging you. What you need to do is pay some money for it and find a venue to perform it in. And the venue will either charge you or um, do a split if you want to or do the fund or something to go through. So it's very much open access. Whereas here you're slightly different in that you have um, ways towards you that's beneficial. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Well, actually, Nice. I think what's great about open submissions is it speaks from uh, the, the artist's heart comes through in terms of what's, it reflects your city much clearer rather than the big organisations. So your theatres and your gallery spaces and your big institutions in MK are wonderful organisations with lots of people in them, but they're big ships, they move very slowly, they can't turn, they're going around very quickly. If you've got an artist with an idea and you want to stay something, you can do that, you can go and find a space in which to do that. Um, spaces are rooms like this, which are fantastic. They're cafes, they're sheds, they're shopping centres, they're, uh, they're all sorts of what you need to find and what you need to do. Uh, so I was going to talk about pop up, another lovely picture. <laughs> uh, marketing, uh, I'm sort of, yeah, just sort of finding things I've done, so I'm not on the you can interrogate the questions afterwards. Um, again, fringe skint, we don't have the money to go into big billboards, campaigns, and things like that. So I think it's about being intelligent with your marketing. Um, the best marketing that you can do as artists, hand to hand, word of mouth, building your communities, what you've got that's um, beneficial to you, you should live here and you know these people. So kind of, um, utilize your networks in order to get stuff across. Um, the best shows, uh, Visiting companies to come to a certain other place, quite often they come with a big marketing budget and just go, here's three which ways, you know, the sense of posters that flies out, they sell really badly. But as a company comes up with no money, they spend a week talking to people and selling the shows and flyer in the industry, that works. That builds your network. It also helps the festival because people then talk about the festival and the buzz, sort of growing up with it. We've um, got into guerrilla marketing, right? It's quite a small city centre with far too much, too much, lots of creative things happening all the time, so you're always quite much space. Uh, so we uh, commissioned a graffiti artist to go around and spray the little exchange boxes that live on the street and do the telephone exchange. Um, with our venue logo, we asked permission from the council, it was fine. Um, but that was how we promoted our, our venue and that's how we built up across the city. So ideas like that. We had a, because our site moved from, a, it moved from the church hall to an open air site in the city, we had a fence around the outside, which was very ugly, but necessary for security. So we then put a scrim on the outside, which was a big, Posters to sit on the outside for advertising all the shows inside and, and lots of very good inside of it. So, those opportunities you can build on the ground are great. That's not on your side, is it? This is, no, that's not here. Let's swap that. Is it coming? So, I've got this kind of hard time in there, so now you're opening main way, you can actually see it. That's the main way. Festival is now, and the international festival doesn't like that very much. 
Um, but it's not really in tune with what's happening, what people want to see straight away. They're planning three, four years ahead. And they're doing very fine, excellent international work. It's a 50 theatre, which is a bright festival. It's a phenomenal um, opportunity to see so. But the fringe is what's moving quicker, and it's faster around it. And I kind of like that balance. It used to be the attitude that the fringe is the work that isn't as good as the festival work. Um, and that's really shifted in the last couple of years. So I think it's really good to keep that in your mind to how you approach and sell your work that it's different, that you're agile. Um, but sell your festival, your crowd, your space. Um, and host the party, I think it's important. Well, the fringe is kind of fun, more exciting place to be. So, uh, yeah, don't too stuck in that. Wine I love all the wine here. I love the wine here. Great. Um, 
know your community. I don't um, don't have the idea of bringing what I do in Brighton and dumping it on some Waterville Heath Fringe Festival. It's not going to work. I've seen it not work with very proficient and experienced people in Brighton who turn up with upside down purple cows and pop them on the green somewhere, bring their own program. They don't have their levels, they don't know what people want. Um, so that's your strength. You know this city, you know this place, you know this area. So know your community. On the other side of that, reach beyond your community. It's a fringe, it's a network. You're part of 200 around the world. There's Edinburgh just after you, starts the week after you, two weeks after you, two weeks after you. There's, yeah, there's fringes everywhere. Support your artists, if you're that, and if you're an artist, you're looking around 